What's up everybody? Just wanted to give you all a quick Sankofa Farms update. I know it's been about, I think about four or five months since you all have last seen us, but I want to be able to just give you all a quick update and a quick tour of how things are going here at Sankofa Farm. Come on. I hope you all can see by just the look of our, um, of our plants that a lot has changed as far as how we prep our um, prep our space and prep our beds for planting. Uh, we focused a lot more on regenerative agriculture, so we moved to initially tilling at the beginning of prepping a space, but then we've now moved to broad forking. So I think this has really helped our plants gain more access to nutrients that are um, that are in the soil, and I, and I think you can tell just by the look of them that things are more vibrant. I know y'all probably looking at these hoops. Uh, we haven't quite transitioned yet from winter to spring. So we just keep our hoops on just to maintain the, uh, just to be able to keep our infrastructure for the winter because we're gonna have some cold days here. And our, you can see our frost coverings are still here. So we wanna make sure we stay ready just so our plants don't get um, affected too much. So right now we're at seven tunnels. Um, that was tunnel one. This is tunnel two. And you can see we have some interesting things going on. We have a bed of lettuce here. We actually figured out something really, really cool. We figured out that, I don't know why it took us so long, but with our drip irrigation, these black lines that you see, each opening is about eight inches apart. So what we decided to do to give our chance, our transplants, especially our lettuce, a better chance at surviving, was just place them every eight inches. I know somebody's probably just like, duh, but it was something that it took us, what, four years to figure out? So now we've, um, we're actually getting better growth and more consistent growth in our lettuces. So that's a little tip for people who are just getting into growing, that if you're growing lettuce, get the drip irrigation that has eight inch spacing, and that will help with the quality of your transplants, especially things that need to be spaced eight inches, like your lettuce. Here, you can, you notice something, we have like these little black emitters. We have micro sprinklers. We're actually growing a hacker rod turnips on this bed. They were planted last week and you can see that they're starting to germinate. So within about a week or so, we're gonna have great growth on um, on these plants. So we're looking for to produce some more turnips. We just have another, also in here, we just have another red board kale. And then we have a starboard kale in this area that's really starting to pick up and, um, and uh, come in. So we're excited about just how our, um, this, just this new growth heading into spring. Last year we made a mistake where everything last spring looked like this. Every single thing, every, every single uh, bed was planted. The leaves were fully growing and blossoming. But then what happens is, these, since these plants were planted in the winter, they were uh, not accustomed, they're not accustomed to the warm temperature, temperature, so then they bolt. So then last year, every single thing was uh, bolting at one time. So then we had to wait another month until we got produce. So this time we got really creative where we planted in successions over the winter. So as we transitioned to the spring, we wouldn't have this area or this time period where we had no crops in the ground. So that's a, just another advantage that we um, have this year compared to last year. And lastly, since our students have gotten older, um, one of them is at North Carolina a and and the other one has transitioned into the workforce. Um, we're gonna be getting more students into Sankofa. We have two left, uh, Mikkel and Jamil. You all have been very familiar with them if you follow Sankofa Farms. But we're looking forward to bringing in more youth into our operation and uh, sharing um, future progress with you all. So stay tuned and don't forget, I have not forgotten either. We haven't forgotten about our bees. So we're gonna be sharing a lot of updates with you all um, this, uh, this upcoming year. We're looking forward to it. So we'll see you all soon. I forgot one thing. We also uh, just built, with the help of a, uh, of a friend here locally, a 30 by 72 foot um, NRCS uh, greenhouse. So in here, we're just in the very beginning stages of it. And you all can see like there's some drainage um, issues that we're gonna have to fix. But we're gonna start, um, uh, we're gonna turn this into a processing station, but also we're gonna grow a lot of crops in ground. So this is gonna be a, this is a, gonna be a big help to uh, the produce production here at Sankofa.